Hi everyone, today's lesson is translations on the coordinate plane. If you have the lesson worksheet, take that out now. If not, grab a sheet of graph paper today so that you can draw coordinate planes and copy down and follow along with us as we do the examples. Here's the problem. I'm going to translate triangle ABC four units to the right and down five units. I'm going to label each point and then write the coordinates of the image. Okay, first of all, let's keep in mind that a translation, okay, which is what we're talking about today, a translation is a slide. So that's when you take a figure and you just move it around on the graph. It doesn't change the size, it doesn't change the shape, it doesn't turn it in any way. All it does is move it to a different location. So we are going to translate this four units to the right, and then we're going to go down five units. And we're going to translate this one point at a time. So let's start with point A, and we're going to go four to the right. So one, two, three, four, down five, one, two, three, four, five. That means our new point is going to be right here. This is the image of point A. So I'm going to draw my A, and I'm going to put a little apostrophe after it because that means A prime, and that shows that that is the image or the new point. Point B, four to the right, one, two, three, four, down five, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to put it right here. So this is point B. I'm going to put a little apostrophe because that is the image of point B. Now I'm going to do point C, four to the right, down five, one, two, three, four, five. It's going to put it right here. There's my C with my apostrophe because that is the image of point C. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to draw some lines here, right, to connect it. So this is where you're going to break out a ruler. And I am just going to draw lines to connect my three points. Oops. There's one right there. Okay, and now I'm going to do another one over here, and finally, whoops, my lines are getting a little crazy here, there we go, let's do that, and then I have to draw one final line right here, move it into position, so now this would be my image of triangle ABC. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to write the coordinates of the image. So point A, I'm going to start at the origin, is now located at negative 1, negative 4. So when I write the coordinate, negative 1, negative 4. Point B is over here now. If I start at the origin, I'm going 2 to the right, not up or down at all. So it's going to be 2 and 0. And then my image of point C is over here. It's going to be 5 to the right and down 4. So positive 5 and negative 4. All right, now we can also write a rule for a translation. Whenever you write a rule for a translation, you start out with a plane x and y, and then you add or subtract to the x to move left or right, and you add or subtract to the y to move up or down. If you're going to the right, you're going to be adding. If you're going to the left, you're going to subtract. If you're going up, you're adding. If you're going down, you're subtracting. So because we had to go four units to the right, we took whatever our x was and we added four to that, right? This right here, x plus four, means that you're going four units to the right. And then we went down five units. So that means we took whatever our y was and we went down five spaces. So the rule would be written like this. You would have an x, y in parentheses with a little arrow. That's showing that this is what is being done here. x plus 4 means we're going 4 to the right, and y minus 5 means we're going 5 down. All right, let's move on to our next example. Okay, complete the transformation described by this rule. So now we have to interpret what does this rule mean. Okay, how to use this rule. The number added to or subtracted from the x tells you to move left or right. So if we are doing x minus 5, that's telling us that we are going 5 units to the left. The number added or subtracted from the y tells you to move up or down. 
Since we are adding 3 to the y, that means we are going up 3. So this rule right here means left 5 and up 3. And again, we're going to take each point one at a time. I'll start with point W. I'll go in alphabetical order. We're going to go 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is my new point W right here. I'm going to put my W with my little apostrophe. Then for X, I'm going to go 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 3. This is going to be right here. There's my new X. For point Y, I'm going to go 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, up is right here. Here's point Y. Make sure you're putting your apostrophe to show that that's the image. And then for Z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3. And there is my new point Z. Okay, now we're going to connect all of these points together, right? I'm going to do this one a little bit differently this time. And hopefully it will make it a little bit easier for me rather than having to draw four lines. Let's see if I can work this out here. So when I move my rectangle over five units to the left and up three, it's going to look like that, right? So that worked out pretty well, I think. There we go, good enough, okay? All right, next example. This time, we are going to write a rule for this transformation. Find the coordinates of the vertices of figure JKLM if it is translated seven units down and six units to the right. Well, if we are going seven units down, right, that's the number that is added or subtracted to the y, right? Remember, right here, the number added or subtracted from the y tells you to go up or down. So they're kind of doing this one in a backwards order. You have to be careful with this. Seven units down means we're subtracting seven from whatever y is. And then the other part of this is saying that we are also going six units to the right. Well, the number added or subtracted from the x tells you to move left or right. If we're going six units to the right, that's going to be plus six on our x. So this rule right here that we just filled in, x plus six means we're going six to the right, and then y minus seven means we are going seven down. Now, it says how can you use the rule to find the coordinates of the vertices of a figure? Like in other words, what if we don't have a coordinate plane and we don't have a picture like we did here where we just slide them one point at a time and move them where they need to be? Well, we know that ordered pairs have an x value first and they have a y value second, right? So all we really have to do is we have to apply the rule. right? So we're going to apply the rule to each ordered pair. And when we do that, that's going to give us the image. So if I take my first ordered pair, which is negative 4, positive 3, and I apply this rule to it, I'm going to be adding 6 to whatever the x value was, right, because my rule is to add 6, and I'm going to be subtracting 7 from whatever the y value is, right? So just take this rule and plug in your x and y values right here and figure out what the new numbers would be. So when I write my new ordered pair for this one, negative 4 plus positive 6 is going to give me positive 2. And then 3 minus 7 is going to give me negative 4. So that would be my new coordinate for point J. That would be my image of point J. And I'm going to continue that same process with my other ordered pairs, right? I'm going to add 6 to all of these x values because my rule is x plus 6. And I'm going to subtract 7 from all of these y values, right? Because my rule is to subtract 7. Just apply that rule to each ordered pair. 0 plus 6 is going to give me 6, and 9 minus 7 gives me 2. 5 plus 6 is going to give me 11, 
and negative 1 minus 7 is going to give me negative 8. 1 plus 6 is going to give me 7, and 0 minus 7 gives me negative 7. So these would be the new coordinates of this original figure. All right, so hopefully you understand how to translate figures and what the rules mean. Um, if you forget or you need to look back at these examples, you should certainly watch the video again and do that. And I will see you next time. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions.